Grade 6 Math, number 6.2. We're going to convert Fahrenheit and Celsius with a formula. We can evaluate formulas just as we've evaluated algebraic expressions. To change Fahrenheit to Celsius, this is the formula right here. F equals 9 fifths times C plus 32. And to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, we do the opposite. If you look at them together, you can see how one formula is a flipped opposite version of the other. Where this is 9 fifths, this is 5 ninths. Where this is Celsius plus 32, this is Fahrenheit minus 32. See? And remember the order of operations, okay? So for those of you who don't know, the Celsius scale is named after a Swedish astronomer named Anders Celsius, who came up with it in 1742. Zero degrees Celsius is free the freezing point of water, and 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point of water. Wow, that's pretty easy to remember. Emma's friend Tala was visiting from Europe, and in Europe they use Celsius. All over the world they use Celsius. It's pretty much just you know the U.S. that uses Fahrenheit and a, and a couple other countries. Well, right before Tala got on her plane, she called Emma to find out how warm or cold it was here. Emma said it was 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So Tala used the formula to find out the temperature. She used the Celsius is equal to 5 ninths times the Fahrenheit minus 32. So if it's 67 degrees Fahrenheit, she, where, where the F is for Fahrenheit, she put the 67 in. Now, she has to do inside the parentheses first. 67 minus 32 is 35. Now we need to multiply it by 5 ninths. So we put the whole thing like this. 5 times 35 over 9. 35 times 5 is 175. Now we divide it by 9, because that's a fraction. It means division, right? 9 goes into 175 19.4 times when we do the long division. That means that it's about 19.4 Celsius, and now Tala went, oh, okay, I understand. Now see, if it was the other way around, I would have to do the same thing because I wouldn't know what it is in Celsius. The normal body temperature for a chicken is 43 degrees Celsius. See, I don't know what that would be unless I did the formula. So what temperature is that in Fahrenheit? So we use the Fahrenheit formula, see? Now, we're going to multiply it by 9 and put it over 5. So we plug the 43 in where the Celsius C is. We do our addition and get 75. We multiply that times 9, and we get 675. We put that over the 5 and divide, and we get 135 when we do our long division. See? So the average temperature of a chicken is 135 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lot warmer than our 98.6 normal temperature for a human, isn't it? Okay, so here's what I want you to remember. When a number is right next to parentheses, it means multiply, okay? If you see a 3 next to a 4 like this, it just means 3 times 4. When you see 2 next to a parentheses and a 5 plus 4, order of operation says you do inside the parentheses first, but it means 2 times 9, see? 3 next to parentheses with 1 fourth means 3 times 1 fourth. 5 next to parentheses with 1.2 means 5 times 1.2. Okay? Now there's other ways, other formulas to use. I found that you could do Celsius is equal to Fahrenheit minus 32 and divide it by 1.8. And you could find Fahrenheit by doing Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. So, Multiplication is the opposite of division. It's the inverse operation. So to find the Celsius, we do this and we divide. And to find Fahrenheit, we do this and we multiply. See? I also found it written like this. And this is basically the same one that we used. It's just written differently. Instead of the 5 ninths being over each other as a fraction over here, they put the whole thing over the 9. See? But it's the same formula that we used. Same thing here. Instead of putting the 9 fifths as a fraction by itself on the side, they put the whole thing over the 5, see? And that's basically what I did, see? I did put the 9 times 75 over the 5 for the Fahrenheit, see? And I did put the 5 times 35 over the 9 for the Celsius when I solved it, okay? So there's either way is going to get you back and forth between Fahrenheit and Celsius. 
some people prefer one way other people prefer another way so that's how we do it that's what celsius means try it try try converting the temperature outside today from fahrenheit to celsius or celsius to fahrenheit okay you can do it it's not that hard i'll see you next video bye